Yo, what's up mga dudes? Eto na naman, nagbabalik ang iyong lingkod. This is Yoroy. Tanong lang, magpapatayo ka na ba ng bahay? Magbibuild ka na ba ng inyong dream house? May budget ka na ba? Alright! Yes! So, may building permit na. Wala pa. So ngayon, pag-uusapan natin is about building permit. A building permit is a document of authorization issued by a local government when an individual or company wants to build a new structure or begin a construction on an existing structure for expansion or repair. Moving, demolishing, or converting a structure also may require a building permit. Yon. So guys, kung magpapatayo ka na ng bahay, so make sure you have a power connection ng electricity and water connection. So the Office of Electric Cooperative nagre-require sila ng permits no, for you to have a temporary connection like mayor's permit or building permit. Yon. So kailangan mo ng temporary connection para sa mga tao na magtatrabaho ng building, of course. Kasi need ni contractor ng power supply para sa kanyang mga power tools na gagamitin. And of course, the water supply as well. Especially during structural and concrete works. So, ano-ano nga ba yung mga requirements sa pagkuha ng building permit? So, I have here the checklist of building permit requirements. So, isa-isay natin to mga dudes. So, in the first bullet is all about forms. So, first is the building permit forms duly accomplished, signed and sealed by a licensed architect or civil engineers. So, five copies. So next, the electrical permit forms, duly accomplished, signed and sealed by a licensed professional electrical engineer, five copies. So next is the sanitary or plumbing permit forms, duly accomplished, signed and sealed by master plumber or sanitary engineer, five copies. So sa ibang munisipyo, meron silang architectural forms for the architects and structural forms for the structural engineer or civil engineer. So meron ding nagre-require ng electronic permit forms for the electronic plans and also yung iba nagre-require ng mechanical permit forms depende kung anong klase yung itatayo mong structure or building. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa mga forms. So the next bullet is about plans. So first is the architectural plans prepared, signed and sealed by a licensed architect. This includes perspectives, vicinity map, site development plan, floor plans, elevations, sections, schedule of doors and windows, and other architectural details. So next is the structural plans prepared, signed and sealed by a licensed civil engineer or structural engineer. This includes foundation plan, roof framing plan, floor framing plan, footing details, column details, uh, beam details, slab details, Trucks or rafter details, and other structural notes. So next is the sanitary or plumbing plans. Prepared, signed and sealed by a licensed master plumber or sanitary engineer. So this includes sanitary or plumbing layout, isometric drawing of sewage line and water supply line, septic tank detail, patch basin detail or drainage connection, specification or plumbing notes, and legends. So next is the electrical plans prepared, signed and sealed by a licensed professional electrical engineer. Includes the following. Power layout plan, electrical layout plan, riser diagram, schedule of load, specification, design analysis and computation, voltage drop, and short circuit analysis. So about all these drawing plans, the architect can prepare all these plans. But of course, kailangan ma-check ni civil engineer, ni structural engineer, ni electrical engineer, ni sanitary engineer yung plans before nila i-design and seal. Kasi hindi naman cover lahat ni architect yung field nila. Okay? So in the next bullet, structural design analysis prepared, signed and sealed by a licensed civil engineer for a high-rise building. Okay, nagre-require na structural design analysis pag two or more stories ang itatayo mong building or structure. That is prepared by the structural engineers. Okay, so the next bullet is about specification prepared, signed and sealed by a licensed architect or civil engineer. So in the specification, dito mare-reflect kung anong klaseng materials ang gagamit No, from architectural, structural, electrical, down to sanitary. And of course, kung paano gagawin yung dapat gawin, and etc. So next is the bill of materials and cost estimate. 
prepared, signed and sealed by a licensed architect or engineer. So, in the bill of materials, dito natin makita kung saan naabot ang budget mo. Dito natin makita yung total project construction cost, the cost of materials, the cost of labor, the cost of overhead expenses, and etc. Lahat ng mga costing. Diyan sa bill of materials makikita. Yan. Then, the next is the construction logbook. Of course. So, dito natin ilalagbook yung mga uh, professionals na magbibisit sa site, yung mga materials na madideliver. So, kung ilang tao yung present, tsaka absent. So, it's all about the construction records. Okay? So, next is the location clearance issued a deputized zoning officer in the municipality. No? Sa munisipyo yan. Then, next is the certified true copy of TCT, tax declaration, current tax receipt, and in case the applicant is not the owner of the lot, a contract of lease or authorization from the lot owner and duly notarized. So, yun. Part yan sa owner or client. So, next is the barangay construction clearance from the barangay where the building is located. Yun, sa barangay hall. No? Kung saan i-co-construct yung project. So next is the court clearance if necessary. So next is the DPWH clearance or PIDMO clearance no? if necessary. Then last is sidula. No? Sidula ni owner or ni client. So sa pag-process ng building permit is madali lang pag na-accomplish mo na tong lahat ng requirements. So meron ding ibang professionals tulad ko na ako na mismo ang magpa-process ng building permit. If si client is busy sa work or wala siyang time to process the building permit, so meron siyang option na si architect or si engineer na ang mag-process ng building permit. And kung meron naman siyang enough time to process all these requirements, so why not? It's her or his choice naman yun. So, hopefully guys, meron na kayong building permit before kayo magtatayo ng iyong dream house. No? Para walang penalty. So, take note guys, merong penalty if nag-start na kayo ng construction tapos wala pa kayong building permit. So, merong penalty. I don't know kung ilan. So, ang nakalagay dito, a sort charge of 100% shall be imposed and collected from the person who shall construct, install, repair, alter, or cause the removal or demolition of any building thereof, a pertinence thereto without any building permit. So, hopefully... Uh, meron na kayong building permit before kayong magpo-proceed sa construction. And alam na niyan ng mga professionals like architects and engineers. So make sure for your plans and designs, get a professionals. Peace!